Hi everyone, so let's talk about the online stock spin. So basically the spin of the stock price today is defined as the maximum number of, of consecutive days. So this is an important keyword for which the stock price was less than or equal to today's price. So I'm going to just uh, quickly go over it. So um, at first I wasn't sure what was happening, but I'm going to tell you what's happening. So if, I, if, I, if I'm a day one, right? There's only uh, one price, right? So this is only one price is actually less than or equal to today price. So you will say return one, right? And then move on to the next day. So the uh, next day is going, it's going to be 80. So 80 is what? It's, it's going to be one day for sure, right? But the problem is the previous one is what? The previous one is greater than 80. So you don't, uh, you cannot count as two. So this is still going to be one. And you are going to do the same thing for the 60, right? 60, you, I mean, the previous price is what? It's actually greater than your current price, right? So, uh, so you, so you say goodbye to this one. So it's still going to be one and go on the 70. So 70, what? So the previous price is 60 and your current price is 70, right? So which is what? Less than or equal to the current price. So you have two, right? Now uh, move on to the 60, so 60 is going to be the same because the previous price is 70, so it's still going to be, uh, say, 1. And then 75, so 75 you have what? Well, you have 2 days for the price uh, lo uh, lower than 75, but you also have to count as your current one, so which is going to be what? Uh, 3, but there's another one, so it's going to be 4, sorry. So this is like consecutive days, sorry I missed uh, seeing this number, but you get the idea, right? And then for the 85, for the 85, right? And uh, you you have what? You have one day, two days, three days, four days, and five days, right? And also plus yourself six days, so you will return six. So uh, this is going to be pretty much the idea. So how do you actually do this? I'm going to just quickly tell you what happened. So uh, you definitely need to stack. Why? One is storing the stock price, right? The other one is going to store the frequency, right? Well, when I say the frequency, it's going to be say how many consecutive days, and then, uh, I mean pretty much it, right? So let me just quickly go over. So if I have the first index, uh, zero, so I'm going to push my my price into the uh stack uh stack price, right? And then the frequency for the first day is going to be one, and then eighty. Since the, the the peak of the price stack is 100, is lower than uh, uh, is greater than 80, so you so you don't want to increment your frequency, so it's, it's going to be one, and then so on the 60, it's going to be one, right? All right, let's uh change another color. So another one, the, the next one is going to be 70, right? So I will just compare the price stack up price, right? So I'm going to say price a peak, right? So I'm going to say okay. It, if this number is what is less than or equal to my current price, so my current price is 70, right? 70, right? So if this is happening, I'm I'm going to pull the the number out of the price stack and also keep adding my counts for this current uh current frequency. So I do have a current frequency, current frequency counts, right? So I'm going to plus equal the same the same number. I mean the same rule, the same data for the sixty and one, right? So it's going to be plus one, right? Uh, bit, uh, just based on the frequency frequency peak, right? So this is going to be pretty much it, right? So I'm going to delete this. All right. Now, uh, since you are traversing the entire stack, right? Until there's a price which is greater, and uh, then you will stop. Then you will stop. So again, you will go on the 80. So 80, well, uh, well, you cannot, um, while this doesn't work, so you will just push your, uh, push your value, the price value into the price stack, and then the frequency is going to be two, right? So let's move on the next one, 60, 60, the price, well, I mean, the, the peak of the price is 70, so you push uh, 60 into here, right? All right, so let's move on to the next one. I'm going to erase this just in, just in case I don't have enough space, All right? All right, let's move on to the next one. 75, 75, right? So 75 is what? Uh, definitely greater, right? Greater. 
Uh, so you will pull, pull this out, right? So you will pull. So I, I have a, a current frequency. Wait. Current frequency. So you'll initiate by one first, right? So one plus one, right? And then you compute 70, so 70. All right, still less than, right? So one plus one plus two. And then you'll traverse another one, 80. All right, 80, this is not allowed. So basically you'll pull these two out, right? And add in the 75 into the price, uh, stack price and the frequency is going to be what? Four, right? So again, if you look at the number, this is four, right? And then uh, this is going to be pretty much the same idea for the 85. So 85, I'm going to check, okay, 85, 75. Okay, wait, hold on. This is 85. 85. 85 right here and then my current current stack uh peak is what 75 75 right so the is definitely less than and i need to just call the frequency count so it's going to be say one plus so i i always have one this is going to be my default value 85 this is one right and then plus four right because i pull out this one right so i so i say goodbye to this one i'm going to check the next one 80, so it's still going to be less than, right? 80, right? So this is 85, right? And then I will just pull again, and I need to plus 1, right? And then basically 100, you will, you will stop, right? And then move on, I will just say 85 equal to what? 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. All right, the answer is 6. And then uh, you just return. So uh, this is how you know it's consecutive consecutive days. So if we have another 60, right, then use one. All right, so move on. All right, let's start coding. I'm going to say stack integer, right? Price, right? Comma, I need a frequency. And I'm going to initialize this into my constructor, right? You can see. All right, so I'm going to initialize my current frequency equal to one. And then while well stack for the price, uh, it's not empty. And also, I stack up P, so which is sort of price up P. So price up P is less than equal to what? Uh, less than equal to the price, right? Then I would just say current frequency plus equal to what? Uh, the frequency at P, right? And if I get a number, I'm going to say pop. So price up pop. And then frequency dot pop, right? So using a while loop to keep traversing the current peak uh in the stacks, right? And then later on I'll just push push my what well, push my value into the stack. So stack dot add uh, price stack dot uh sorry sorry this is price no I keep making mistakes sorry about this so frequency dot add I'm gonna add a current frequency right and then return the current frequency so this is gonna be pretty much it right so I'm going to run it and see if I have any error or not. Okay, I don't have it. Then submit. All right, so let's talk about time and space. This is going to be a space, all of n, right? The number of the uh, uh, number of the frequency and the price you have to add into the stack is all of n. So for the, for the while loop, it's going to be a time, right? So every single time you need to traverse until it, uh, it stops, right? So the worst case is going to be what? All of n, right? So the time and space are all of n, n represent what? The length of the the length of the the price you're giving, and this is the solution. And I will see you next time. Bye.